It was King Solomon who said in Proverbs 16, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. And the irony of that fact is that Solomon, when he wrote this, he he himself is going to succumb to pride. The reason he succumbed to pride and greed is the same reason every one of us struggle with the same thing. We get caught up with our self. We get caught up in the image that we attempt to control so that others see us for how we want them to see us rather than who we really are. You see, none of us will ever have the wisdom of Solomon, the wealth of Solomon, the fame of Solomon. None of us will ever have, but we will fight the the, the temptation to build an image of ourselves so that we will appear better than we really are. So that we will appear different than we really are. And that's pride. And that's arrogance. And that's image building. And that's you. And that's me. Learn to be content in your position in Christ. God sees you in Christ if you put your faith and trust in Jesus. He sees you in Christ. In fact, we are told in the New Testament in Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3, we are told to fix our mind on our position in Christ. God has already totally 100% accepted you in Christ with all of your with all of your sins with all of your problems with all of your hangups with all of your image building God has already accepted you you are totally forgiven listen if you put your faith in Christ and his work then your redemption is finished our God is faithful even when we are faithless that does not give us an excuse to run out and sin and sin and sin. But it ought to make you feel so blessed by God that you fall on your knees and you thank God for the cross of Christ.